Hello guys, it's Mr. Maximo here, Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network with another match preview for a European Cricket Series match. And of course, this week we are in Rome, Italy. This is day six of seven. It's the penultimate group match between Roma CC and Bergamo from the Roma Campanelli ground there in Italy. This game will start on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. GMT, which is 11 o'clock in Central Europe. It's 2.30 p.m. in India. It's the second of four matches and... We hope you can join us on the European Cricket Network to watch all the action, whether that's through our website, ecn.cricket, or our YouTube channel, ECN European Cricket Network. And if you're in the Indian subcontinental area, you can catch it on fan code. Now, this is the second match of the day. I have already previewed the first match of the day. It was originally meant to be played on Monday, but of course, all matches were washed out on Monday. But if you would like my preview of that, even though it's a few days old, there's still lots of useful information uh, for that one, which is now match 18 it was previously match 5 i'll leave the link in the description and also you'll see a link at the end of this video to take you to that match preview just a reminder if you don't already why don't you follow us on social media because there's so much happening in the world of european cricket of course we are almost done in rome it's going to be very interesting to see who lifts the trophy and then next week we'll be in bulgaria for the first time so it's great to be able to take the european cricket series to yet another country on the continent i'm looking forward to that five day series from monday so why don't you follow us at european cricket or you can follow me at mr maximo so you don't miss a beat when it comes to what's happening in the world of europe European cricket. If you do enjoy these match preview videos, then we'd ask you to leave a like and why don't you leave me a comment? And if I get a chance, I'll get down and reply to as many of those as I can. And thank you to everyone who's so supportive with all the comments coming in. It's great you're enjoying these previews and enjoying the cricket on the European Cricket Network. So let's see what we've got in store for you this weekend on the European Cricket Network. You can see we have the final two days of action from Rome, starting with the final three group matches. It's really great that we were able to reschedule all the matches that were washed out on Monday. So we will have a full complement of matches, weather permitting, over the weekend. Saturday will conclude with a shield final between the third placed sides in each group. And then on Sunday, we're going to have Super Sunday, the two semifinals, followed by the bronze final. And finally, the gold final, where we'll see who will lift the trophy there in Italy. They'll be the first ever Italian European Cricket Series champions. Let's have a look then at this match. It is match 19 between Roma CC and Bergamo. And we do have some likely lineups for you with Roma to be led by their captain, the veteran Prabath Eknaligoda, with Sujith Rila Gudagi to be their wicketkeeper. While for Bergamo, they'll be led by Jaspreet Singh with Manpreet Singh to be their wicketkeeper. And let's talk a little bit about these two teams. Roma CC, they started the tournament with two strong wins, although on reflection, they were probably against weaker sides. They did get a reality check against Gina Brescia in their third match, and they went down convincingly. They'll hope to win this game to keep their semi-final chances alive. Bergamo, well, they're two wins out of two. They're actually the only team in the tournament with two matches still to play uh, on the Saturday. So if they win them both, then they will top Group B. And they've been pretty impressive in the games that I have seen them so far. Let's have a look then at Mr. Maximo's 11 to watch and hopefully you find this information useful. And I'm going to start with Bergamo today because I have super highlighted two of their players, starting with their keeper, Manpreet Singh. Now, the top run scorer of 2019 has been in good form in this tournament so far. He's been a rock at the top of the order, but it's his keeping that I'm particularly impressed with. As a, as a Glovin myself, I think that he is a real natural behind the stumps and he's shown he isn't afraid to stand up to the medium paces. So that adds an element to the game. It keeps the batsman honest, and we don't see it that much in the ECS. So I've been very impressed with his wicket-keeping, as well as his batting. If He's been explosive there, opening the batting, and I think he's got a big job to do and a lot of responsibility for their batting, batting innings. I've also super highlighted Baljeet Singh. He's Bergamo's go-to man. He's probably their top all-rounder, and he showed why in the last match. He really bullied the Kings with an unbeaten 43 off only 19 balls, and that's after taking two for 14 uh, when he had the ball in hand. Bergamo won that game in only 4.2 overs, which was an incredible effort, and their openers did all the job there in that game. I've also got another batsman in Mandeep Singh, although he can also chip in with an over or two of his medium paces if required. 
I've got some all-rounders in there, starting with the captain, Jaspreet Singh. Now, he took two for seven, opening the bowling against Kings Eleven, and he'll hope to continue his team's unbeaten run under his captaincy. I've also got Azim Ali in there today, who started with the ball in the last match, taking three wickets for 16 runs. I put a shadow player in there, Jorawa Singh. Now, I couldn't quite squeeze him into my 11 to watch, but I wanted to mention him because he's a very good leg spinner, and I love the shape that he put on the ball. He really put some revolutions on there, and I think he's a very good bowler. So he's perhaps another one to consider if you are participating in some fantasy cricket. Finally, I've put Daljeet Singh, uh, another leg spinner. And I actually like the way he's not afraid to toss the ball up and challenge the batsman. So Jorawa and Daljeet, uh, both leg spinners, but they're slightly different types of leg spinners. And I'm certainly looking forward to watching them in this match and across the weekend. For Roma CC, I have highlighted some of their players too, including their veteran keeper, Sujith Rilla Gadagi. Now, Rilla, the veteran, he's been strong opening the batting and with the gloves as well. And his team will look for some leadership from him in this big game. Like we said, Roma CC, to keep their finals chances alive, they do have to win this match. I've also got some batsmen there in Dinidu Maragi. Now, I think he's a very talented player, but I don't think he's batted to his potential in this series. With the ball, he's been very effective, though, taking six wickets with his left arm spinners. He's another one which you may want to use as a captain or vice captain. And if he makes some runs, I think he'll certainly score a lot of points if you're playing some fantasy cricket. But in uh, in my team today, I just favoured Manpreet over him. It was a bit of a toss-up for that second super highlight spot. I've also got Navod Kalan Surya, who's been consistent for them. He's actually now their leading run scorer, albeit narrowly. I've put a shadow all-rounder in there in Christian Galuga Magi. Now, he's had some good performances, but uh, I did prefer some other options in my 11 to watch today when it came down to the final 11. And finally, I've got some bowling options there in Danmika Ataneka as well as Talina Ruthnaika. And uh, the word is that we won't have Gunning playing this game. I think he will be left out of this team. They're trying a couple of other options with the ball. So let's get to prediction time. And I certainly have been enjoying the action from Rome. Haven't we seen some good cricket? We've seen some big hitting. And uh, I think we've seen some pretty good bowling as well. And we've seen some great fielding. I think Azim Ali took one of the runouts of the European Cricket Series in the game we saw last night. He picked it up one-handed and hit the stumps direct. So we often talk about some of the fielding in the ECS not being that great. But I think there's been some great fielding this week and some great wicket keeping as well. So watch out for it. And credit's where it's due because I think that these teams have worked a lot on that aspect aspect of the game and it's certainly showing through and everyone's paying attention. Now in this game, Roma CC have two wins and so do Bergamo, but Bergamo are unbeaten and I do expect that to continue. I think that Roma CC had that reality check when they played Jinnah, a slightly stronger team, a step up in class and they couldn't go with them. And I think it could be a similar story in this game. So I think Bergamo just have too many uh, explosive options for Roma CC to handle. And I think Bergamo will win this. And I do think they'll win their final match as well to top group B. So that is what my prediction is for this game. And I seem to be on a pretty good run this week with one or two exceptions. But for the most part, I think I've been fairly accurate. But of course, as always, I'd ask you to go to our website, www.ecn.com cricket because uh, there's a treasure trove of information there if you want all the statistics from the tournament and the scorecards you can really dig a little bit deeper than i'm able to go in these videos and make up your own mind so bergamo for me here in match 19 just a reminder you might see on the screen shortly a link to the match 18 preview. Now, I did that originally earlier in the week because that match was meant to be played on Monday. But as I said, there is still a lot of good information in there for that game between Asian Latina and Roma Capanelli. So make sure you watch that video as well. But for now, this is Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network saying enjoy the game. There's heaps of action coming your way on the European Cricket Network this weekend. We hope you can join us. But for now, it's goodbye.